Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Love Week. I am really excited about today's video. So back during Vlogmas was my first time ever like cooking on my channel or just like making anything on my channel and we did coquito and it was really fun and really exciting. You guys seem to enjoy it. So today I decided to do something very Valentine's Day-esque. Now if I haven't said it already, I actually don't even like Valentine's Day. I actually despise Valentine's Day like with a passion. So it's so funny that I'm here doing a whole week of Valentine's Day videos but I feel like it's just very fitting for my channel because it's very girly, very feminine, you know, sex driven. And, and things like that and that's everything that we love here so I figured this would be a great week to just give y'all a bunch of content but anyway one thing I do appreciate and love about Valentine's Day is chocolate covered strawberries not only are they cute but they are delicious and I love them and I've never actually made them myself it looks fairly easy I've seen plenty of videos on TikTok how to do it and so you know what today we're gonna be trying it out um, I'm not making them for anyone in particular I mean Dominique's probably gonna have some tomorrow it's really just for me to enjoy so I'm not gonna stress myself too much about making it completely perfect so you are gonna see me succeed at making these chocolate covered strawberries or fail so yeah hopefully it's not a fail well before we begin guys you already know what to do make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started okay so the ingredients seem rather simple first things first you have to have your strawberries and I did just wash them so they're nice and clean but you need strawberries I wish they were a little bit bigger but I had to do Instacart so you know how that go I didn't get to pick it out the second thing you need is chocolate now I don't even know why I bought this I don't like dark chocolate but we're just gonna we're just gonna put that there and I read that you specifically have to make sure you get the melting chocolate okay not just any chocolate or you're probably gonna be struggling so we have the milk chocolate flavored melting wafers right here and then we have the white vanilla I love white chocolate so I want to do a little bit mixture of both we have some toothpicks to like pick in our strawberries just so that way the like dipping process would be a lot easier of course it's me and I want glittery strawberries so I got some pink sparkly glitter I'm so excited for this like this is gorgeous I cannot wait to put these on the strawberries hopefully it comes out right now I saw that you can do it on two different ways as well that this says on the directions on the back of this you can either melt it on the stove or you can put it in the microwave and I'm gonna be a little ghetto I'm gonna do it in the microwave you want to make sure you have microwavable dishes and so we got these. These are actually even oven safe so they can get as hot as you, well like not as hot as you want but I think like 450 degrees. Um, so those are good. And I also got a little one here and this is going to be for like the excess sprinkles. We also have a bacon dish behind me and some parchment paper and that's just where we're going to lay the strawberries out. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm excited. <laughs> okay guys so let's go ahead and jump into this. I think we're going to start with the milk chocolate. So it says for the microwave method heat wafers in a microwave safe container at half power or defrost setting for 30 seconds stir thoroughly if not completely melted continue to microwave at 15 seconds intervals and stir until smooth do not overheat okay seem like they put a lot of emphasis on that do not overheat part so let's start with this okay I'm a little nervous I don't know if you guys can tell I'm a little shaky shaky so I'm gonna open this bad boy up can I eat this That bushes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just pouring some of the wafers in this bowl. I feel like that should be. Mm, I don't know. Do you think that's enough? I feel like that should be enough, right? A little bit enough. And I also have my little whisk here, so when we have to stir. So it said put it on defrost, right? It said uh, microwave on defrost setting for 30 seconds. So let's do that. We got our microwave, time defrost, 30 seconds. So let's see what happens. In the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is start sticking some of these toothpicks in these strawberries. I feel like that is a good thing to do with our 30 seconds. So I'm doing two toothpicks and I'm gonna stick it right, oh, that was quick, right down the middle that Ooh! Ah, I'm so excited okay let's see how this looks baby that ain't doing not a damn thing that thing that thing is still 
like this okay we're just gonna we're just gonna put that back in there and we are just going to continue with putting our toothpicks in our strawberries that thing still don't look melted i can see in that microwave i feel like the stove probably would have been better baby you still hard all right watch it i put that thing in there for two minutes i don't care i do not care because clearly my microwave is either not strong enough or something oh oh it's doing something now i see it i think we're doing something now i'm gonna leave it in there for 30 more seconds i don't know why i'm so nervous like i'm gonna like burn it or something i didn't use all of it so if we need to use the stove we can definitely do that oh i smell it it smells good okay let me take it out oh it's burning it's burning i think we overheated it <laughs> it's melted <laughs> it's melted so i'm gonna stir this i started to smell it i was like oh okay we're gonna stir it i think we'll put the glitter on the white chocolate ones i think that's the the best bet so we're gonna stir 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 and now we are going to dip a strawberry in I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly I feel like the bowl is just like not deep enough so <laughs> that shit look a little ugly not gonna lie <laughs> it looks a little ghetto and a little bootleg I want to show you guys but oh I was supposed to hold the leaves up I forgot okay it's fine this was the first one but that's what it looks like so far so she's not she's not the cutest in the bunch but i mean she's the first girl she's the the original the og so you know there's that so let's go ahead and try another one and maybe like with the white chocolate the glitter will uh cover up our failure okay so let's let's get this one Ooh. We're just gonna put that in there. Fuck it. I keep forgetting to hold the leaves up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. Okay, she's better. Can you guys see? She's way better. Yeah. This is actually kind of therapeutic. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. Why my chocolate a little lumpy? Y'all chocolates don't be looking like that when I be buying them in the store. Okay, so no funny. I feel like they're starting to look kind of cute. Let's let's look. Can we see? It looks okay, right? Okay. Yeah. Come through. We can do 20 strawberries. So we'll do 10 of the milk chocolate, 10 of the white chocolate, and then maybe five of the white chocolate so we'll have the glitter on it. I'm kind of fiending to put the glitter on, so I might actually do that right now. I see you gotta put the chocolate on there. Is my chocolate getting hard again, baby? Uh-uh, don't do that. We gotta swirl you around, baby. What you doing? I'm excited. You guys are seeing like a chef do her thing right now. Like, she is too good. These hoes can't take me because I'm a chef. I'm a baker and a chef, okay? I'm gonna start with this little one because I'm scared. <laughs> so we gonna start with this baby strawberry right here. We gonna swirl him around right in this chocolate. I know this is like something you probably did as a kid. So the fact that I'm over here at 27, like trying to make chocolate covered strawberries it's quite hilarious now what you want to do is you want to take your other bowl take your other bowl and you're going to take your glitter and you want to sprinkle that glitter on there and get it nice and glittery like so boom see how i did that you just boom i'm teaching y'all now because i'm a master and then you got you a little um look <laughs> this one look a little ugly i ain't gonna lie but you know it's fine we're gonna get there i want to do it again because that was fun we need a bigger strawberry that's what it is because that strawberry wasn't really doing what it was supposed to do she wasn't a thick girl i need her to be a thick bbl not bbl bbw queen i said bbl lord jesus yeah you know it's a little crackheadish, but it's cute for my first time it is cute for my first time i just want y'all to get into it She's cute, right? She has like a green reflex. Oh, she's iridescent. She's cute. I'm not gonna lie. I'm eating y'all bakers up right now. Um, if you a baker, I'm eating you up right now. No funny. Okay, guys. So this is our chocolate covered strawberry so far. They're not the neatest, of course, uh, because it's my first time doing it. I'm pretty sure there's like some way better techniques at doing this, but they actually look 
okay i'm not mad at it so i am going to now put my whisk over here i'm gonna rinse this out because i want to use this for the white chocolate and i don't want the white chocolate to mix up okay guys so off camera i just washed this dish out to get all that chocolate out of it it's just a little bit chocolate on the bottom but no big deal it's not that serious i also got another whisk because that other one got all the regular chocolate on it the milk chocolate so now i'm going to open up the white chocolate and start to pour that in here and I feel like we had just enough in the other one I want to taste it yep we're going here mmm mmm white chocolate so damn good um, let me get let me get another one too it tastes like the cookies and cream Hershey's the best I really want to kind of like try the whole drizzle thing but at the same time I'm just ready to eat them should I eat what <laughs> should I eat what off camera, I don't think I mentioned this, but I put the toothpicks in the remaining strawberries just to kind of speed up the process. Okay, I think this consistency is what I was supposed to do last time. It's so much more smoother than like the last time we like overcooked it and it like burnt a little bit. This is just so much smoother. Definitely not enough to fill up all the strawberries, but we could just pop more in the microwave, no big deal. Oh, baby. Was I supposed to pat dry the strawberries with the chocolate stick better? Sound off below if I was supposed to do that. I want to sprinkle this one. Oh, I knew the white I knew the white chocolate was going to do me right with the sprinkles. Look how pretty. Look how beautiful. So we dip in. Dip, dip, dip in, twirl. Dip in, dip in, dip in, swirl and get that chocolate on that strawberry. Get it on the strawberry. Then we're gonna sprinkle, 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 Get that sprinkle on there. Next strawberry in line. Ooh, strawberry is so fine. So comment down below if you've done this before. How do you get it to look all smooth and not like bumpy? This is the ghettoest chocolate covered strawberries y'all probably will ever see in y'all life. Boom. Oh, I just got chocolate all over me. Get on there smooth. Why are you being so ghetto about it? Like, come on now. Look like, look like something. Please. Out here embarrassing me in front of my social media friends. I think we might be done with the, Oh, I am making a mess. <laughs> There's chocolate everywhere. Oh my god. I just want to finish because now I'm kind of tired of doing it. And I'm like, I want to eat it. I know I probably look a mess right now, but it's fine. All right, guys, and our chocolate covered strawberries are complete. Are they the neatest? No. Are they the prettiest? No. But I mean, it was fun to do for my first time and very, very easy to do. So I'm happy with it. But of course, we should test them. I want to test like an ugly one because I'm going to be using these in like photos and stuff. So we can go with this chocolate one here. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I would probably suggest if you're just doing these for yourself, maybe cut off the like stem part of it. So that way it's just easier to eat and just like more enjoyable. That is really good and I definitely recommend you guys make them. And I could imagine it'll be really, really fun. So if you are maybe staying in for Valentine's Day or you are wanting to do something for yourself with your kids, with your significant other, something like sexy too, because you can make it very, very sexy. Maybe y'all doing it in like lingerie or something, you know, and the lights is low and candles and y'all feeding each other chocolate and all that freaking good stuff. This is definitely a fun little task you guys can do and it's edible. Like who doesn't love to eat? Ow, hair is in my eye. Oh my gosh, everything is going crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying these videos for a love week. I love you guys so, so much <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.